Tuesday night after 16 days in Asia, and I'm still not sleeping, but I'm here and I'm happy and I'm very active. I guess my story, without going back to childhood, would begin about the same time Al did. It was July 13th of 2016. I weighed 257 pounds, and that was pretty good because I had weighed 282. So I'm down 150 from my all-time high. I went to see the doctor because my husband was here. We, he, we, like to, we like to travel and we've been really all over the world. It's been a wonderful life for us. And, um, but it was getting to the point, after having been in Ireland, that I could hardly make it uh, to the next gate of the airport. After being there for a couple of weeks, my knees hurt, my feet hurt. And I thought, Ben, don't you understand that every step I take hurts? And I almost wanted to just sit down in the middle of the airport and say, he's going to have to come back and find me because I can't walk anymore. Well, I came home. That was in May of 2016. And so I went to the doctor at Kaiser. And bless his heart, he needs to be educated. Please pray for him. <laughs> um, he said he could offer me um, injections in my knee. He could offer pain medication because we had another trip coming up to China in September. And I didn't like either of those two. And he said, uh, if I wanted to have my knees replaced, I would have to lose 70 pounds first. Well, I'm all about having choices in my life. And when I heard that, I thought, I don't have a choice, do I? Because I had to lose the weight before I even had the choice to have surgery. So my good friend, Nora, is right here. And uh, she gave me dog, and I'm kind of a cheapskate, I don't like to spend money. <laughs> and she, she gave me Dr. Rick Maximum Weight Loss book, so I didn't even have to pay for that. And it's just, you know, when things come in your life at the right time, the coincidences aren't coincidences, but they're blessings. So I read the book, and it just made so much sense to me, and I thought, I'm going to put that sucker to the test. I'm going to follow that book to the T. And if it works, then he's going to get the credit for saving my life. Well, my dear doctor at Kaiser said, after I had started doing this program, he said, if I told people to eat like that, they would say, that's not real food. And he said, besides, here in South Sacramento, he said, there aren't any whole food or any um, health stores. And I tend to respect authority as much as I know how to. But I just had to speak out, and I said, you know, you don't need a health food store. You just need a produce department. That's all you need. Well, needless to say, I realized that he wasn't going to be the doctor to support me in this journey. Through friends at the um, gym, I learned that there was a Dr. Mosquito at Kaiser. And I didn't know if I could get in to see him or not, but I found out that he was full, and uh, he was not accepting new patients. So I kind of went in the back door and I said, how about if I just make a consultation appointment? Well, after he met me and realized I'd already been doing successful on the diet, he, he did accept me as a patient. So it's just wonderful having that medical support. So that was July of 2013 when I started reading the book, started following the program. And just a few weeks later, we went to China as planned. And I did take some pain medication because I wanted to enjoy the trip and get through it. But just it just seemed like it wasn't long at all. And I lost six inches off of each knee. I mean, even before I lost all the weight, I think it was releasing the toxins or whatever's going on with your body. I'm not a doctor, but it was just wonderful how the inflammation went down. So then I just kept on going on it. And then we took another trip. Um, let's see, it was the same year then? No, it's 2017. 2017, we were on a cruise, and I've learned that I can travel this way and still eat and maintain my program. We've been on four cruises while I'm losing weight, and people say, well, how can you do that? There's 
all those buffets, and it's true, there is that. But when you're committed to following a program and you're gonna test that doctor to see if he knows what he's talking about, it's possible to do that. So we just went on a cruise and I got acquainted with a Tai Chi instructor and her friend was um, involved in wanting to get a group of people to go to China to learn um, their ways about um, being healthy. But when he heard my story, he said, well, do you think I could get a couple of people together here on the ship and would you tell them your story? And I said, well, yeah, I guess if it would help. So he got maybe 12 or 15 people together in one of the little lounges and we just sat around and talked and I told my story and they were rubbing their knees and you know, it was just kind of a fun thing. Oh, in the meantime, he also asked, could I videotape it and put it on YouTube? And I thought, well, yeah, I guess so. So he really kind of wanted to use my experience to justify what he wanted to do too, which is fine, I didn't care. And so it went on YouTube and you know, there were a few hits, not too many, but that was kind of my beginning then. So anyway, I've continued on. Uh, then after uh, that, oh, I know, I was at the gym, and one of the gals who probably weighs between 350 and 400 pounds said to me, Esther, you need to start a group on Facebook. And I said, no, I, said, I just need to tell people to read Dr. McDougall's book, to watch Jeff AJ, and there's just all these people that have already put all the information out there. So I said, I don't need to reinvent the wheel. And she said, no, there will be people that know you and you're a real person and it will make a difference. So I thought, well, it's not an ego trip for me, but I went home and I thought about it. I said, well, maybe there's some validity to what she's saying. So I started Esther's Nutritional Journey on Facebook and I think I added about six of my family members who were interested in. And, um, and it was kind of slow going at first, but then after a while, more and more people started hearing about it. And now I can tell you we have over 850 wow. in our group. So it's exciting to be able to share, and I um, just can't talk about it enough, because when you have your life saved, you know, it's kind of like if you were bald and you found a cure for baldness, would you be shouting it from a rooftop to whether you made money <laughs> or not? You know, and so that's kind of what I've done. Well then, so that cruise video was, well the first thing I guess was the um, journey group on Facebook. And then the cruise thing did the video. And then, um, I don't really remember how it all happened, but Dr. McDougall's group selected me as the star McDougall. So that kind of boosted things going along. And then, uh, just a few months ago, then he did a follow-up, what's Esther doing now? So then I was able to say that, you know, I'd done the cruise thing, and I was a star at Googler, and then uh, Corinne Niger from Australia contacted me and said, um, could she interview me? And um, I said, well, okay. So we, I thought, it's really fun talking to somebody from Australia. So she interviewed me and put it on her podcast number 54. So then all these Australians started joining my group. And, um, and then I wanted to pay back to Dr. Redugo because he had done so much for me. So I thought, how can I do that? I didn't even have to buy his book. And in the meantime, like Al, I had bought, you know, I told you I'm cheap, right? So I didn't even give him the money for making the, for producing the books. I'd go on uh, eBay and buy used books and give them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was too, you know, it wasn't going to help him any, but that's what I did. And then uh, I thought, well, how can I pay back to Dr. Abdullah for what he's done for me? And so in um, summer, last summer, then I took the Starch Solution Certification course, because that costs money, and so that kind of would help him out a little bit. And then in September, my husband and Nora and I and another friend, we went to his three-day workshop in September. And I got to meet him. And if you want to see what his autograph looks like, it's in my book. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just been a wonderful journey. And um, the, I mean, everything that Al said is true. And the benefits are so fabulous. Not only have I lost 150 pounds, but listen to this. I'm off all medications. I was on statins for cholesterol. I was on sleeping pills for sleeping. I was on... Oh, listen to this. I was on lithium. And if any of you know what lithium is about, it's okay. I was on that. And I, so what else? Oh, I had GERD and I had sleep apnea. 
and I had, but if you asked me if I was well, I'd say, well, yeah, I'm fat, but I'm well. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with me. And I, I, had, I, mean, I had constipation, but I mean, that's, everybody's got that, right? And, oh, I can't remember all the things that were wrong with me, but, um, and then, of course, I was taking pain pills for the knees, and now, the first thing that went away was the pain pills, and then I, I went to my Dr. Mosquita, and it was like, it was like, getting saved, if any of you know that experience. I mean, he started reading off all my chronic um, illnesses that were on my list. And as we went through them, he'd say, gone. And he'd read the next one, he'd say, gone. He'd read the next one. And by the time I finished that appointment, my, my list of, of ailments were gone. I mean, all of them. Well then, if that's what not enough, then I was being checked in my uh, eyes for a macular pucker. And after three months um, of, having, of eating this way, I went to see Dr. Raven at Kaiser, and he said that now I could have surgery for my eye. And I said, well, you know what? I said, I just started eating this really weird way, and I'm eating all these vegetables, and I'm eating lots of carrots. And I said, I just kind of have the feeling that my eyesight's going to get better, too. And he said, well, he said, there's no rush on it. He said, I, he said you, you're eligible for it, but it's not required. So I went back six months later, and he said, your eyesight has actually improved. Wow. I went back another six months later, and he said, your eyesight has improved again. I saw him again on December 10th, and as I was leaving the office, he, I said, you know, I haven't been wearing my glasses for quite a while now. And I said, should I wear them so that my eyes won't get worse? And he said, with your eyesight, you don't even need to wear glasses. I'm 75 years old. I mean. Oh, and then the other really big miracle is I was on thyroid medication for low thyroid for over 30 years. And I went to my doctor, and as I lost weight, they reduced the um, dosage, right? So I went from 112 down to 100, and then I was down to 50. Well, 50, you're almost home free, right? So why would I want to take any of it? So I said to my doctor, I said, well, you know, what would happen if I went off my thyroid medication? Because I've never heard of anybody getting off thyroid. And he said, well, he says, you might gain some weight. And he says, you might not have as much energy. And I said, I'm willing to gamble. You willing to work with me? And so he said, yeah, I said, go ahead and go off for six weeks and I'll retest you. So six weeks later, I come back and I get tested. And I'm at two point, no, 5.59. And that's just a little bit over the high or the, the range that they would want it to be. And um, but I kept losing weight. I even lost more weight then. And and I, you can tell, I mean, even if not sleeping and being traveling from Asia, I mean, I had all the energy I can handle. So, and then when I went to Dr. McDougall's seminar in September, I talked to Dr. Lim, who knows my doctor, and he said, at that level, he said, I would not put you back on it. And so I haven't been back on that. So I can't think of anything else to cure, but if you can, <laughs> if you can cure me of talking too much, <laughs> I can do that. But it's just a joy to share my story. And uh, life is wonderful. And we just got back from Asia, and we're going to go to Croatia in April, and we're going to go to India in September. And I can walk anywhere, in fact, when we were just over there in Vietnam, we were on the ninth floor of the hotel, and I thought, I'd like to just walk down because the elevator was being too slow for me. So I just walked down nine flights of stairs, and I can climb anywhere, and I do feel it when I, in steps, when I climb, I can feel the um, um, strain, if you will. I forgot to tell you, I didn't need to have my knees replaced after all. And I didn't have to have my eye surgery, and I didn't have to have a breast reduction. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, I'm, I'm probably talking too much, but <laughs> so um, it's just a joy to be here and to be a novice, but just to be a normal person, just a normal person who decided that it was worth it to um, take, take care of yourself, you know. And when I told my brother and his wife, they wanted to know how I lost weight, and my dear sister-in-law, she said, oh, she says, you might as well just lie down and die. And I said, well, I'm not lying down and I'm not dying. Yeah.